What's up, man? This is Frank, and let me say I'm not a financial advisor. Anything that I say in this video is for entertainment purposes only. Whatever I say in this video is my opinion. may not necessarily be factual. Don't buy, sell, or hold a stock or get into a short squeeze play based on anything that I say in this video. Do your own, DD. Look, check this out, bro. After fighting these short sellers, after retail been fighting these short sellers for over three and a half years, you know, and we wouldn't stop. And, you know, they tried to make retail investors look like we was conspiracy theorists, tried to make us look like we was crazy, we was lying, we didn't know what we what we was talking about. All of a sudden now, all of a sudden now, man, it seems like retail investors are being vindicated. And now people don't mind talking about the naked shorty and the criminal short sellers. So if you didn't know it, now we got two presidential candidates, which is Kennedy and Trump, and we got Representative Maxine Waters. They joining in and they helping with the fight against these criminal short sellers and this naked shorty. And see, look, my retail investors, in my opinion, we all know what these criminal short sellers, you know, what these hedge funds, what these bad actors been doing. We know what they did, what they did to stocks like GME, AMC, GTII, Finger, DJT, G, now DJT. We know what they did and we know what they doing. And man, in my opinion, they've been using counterfeit stocks, you know, to try to destroy these companies as well as the retail investors. You understand what I'm saying? And look, even you no, know, when it comes to these counterfeits, like I said in my other videos, even Susan Trebet said that at any given time, there on any given day, there are probably billions of synthetic shares made in the stock market counterfeit. You see what I'm saying? Me personally, I'm going to go as far as to say this is just my opinion. It might not be factual. I think it's more counterfeits in the stock market than real shares. That's just my opinion. And see, that's what happened when you allow unchecked corruption, counterfeiting and naked shorting for a whole decade in the stock market. Like I said, this is just my opinion. It may, be, not, may not necessarily be factual. I think it's more counterfeit shares in the stock market than it is real shares. That's just my personal opinion. And when it comes to this naked shorting, bro, we all know, man, that it's all a scam. You know, even, man, this whole market maker exemption, man, for naked shorting, all that's a fraud, in my opinion. All that's a scam, in my opinion. The only thing they doing, man, is using it, man, to destroy stocks. And to destroy retail investors getting paid. They're abusing their power. So to me, the whole neck and short thing, man, in my opinion, man, it's all the scam. And if retail don't do nothing about this neck and short, man, they're going to continue to slaughter retail investors. You see what I'm saying? And look, man, now the, the CAT system. Everybody know the CAT system is supposed to be implemented at the end of this month. Well, no, hopefully we can get true transparency. You see what I'm saying? And see... These criminal short sellers in these hedge funds, they done went to their part. See, see, look, the re in my opinion, the only, only people that don't want the cash system are the criminals and the people that's working on behalf of the criminals. Simply because of the fact that they don't want you to see the fraud, the counterfeiting and the corruption and the naked shortage positions coming from these criminal hedge funds. The criminals are the only ones that don't want it. Retail want it. That's just my personal opinion. So now they done ran to their politicians. You know, these criminal short sellers, they done ran to the politicians, in my opinion, the ones that they done bought out, the ones that's been paid off. And now you got them speaking out against the cash system. And the only thing, man, that they're trying to do, these politicians, I think that's paid off, in my opinion, they trying to help cover up the fraud that's coming from these criminal short sellers and they making it more difficult for them to get caught. I was just watching uh because the cash system bro gonna work. It's gonna be some people that get caught up. You see what I'm saying? I was just watching common sense investor video and he showed man how the cash system caught somebody, you know, and how man they getting ready to do jet prison time. So some of these folks man gonna get caught by that cash system and they know it. You see what I'm saying? And I'm going to play this real quick. What it is, this is Ham hey, talking about some, you know, some other things plus Ken Griffin. Let me say this, man, what I think about Ken Griffin. You know, they said Patrick Burns said that Ken Griffin, he works for the feds. Because he was saying something like, don't try to go after my thing, man, because he works for the feds. 
I don't know who Ken Griffin worked for, man. But any reasonable and prudent person and with any type of common sense will look at the environment in the stock market and see what's going on as far as the neck and shorts. And they'll walk away, bro. <laughs> they'll leave. So in my personal opinion, man, I think, look, you don't make $45 billion in our stock market. Take $45 billion from retail investors and not be responsible to somebody. Not answering to somebody, whoever that may be. And I think, man, whoever it is, man, that, have allowed, that has allowed him to make $45 billion doing the shit that he's been doing, they telling him, man, no, we don't want to get his money. We don't want to stop stealing money from retail investors. Get your ass out there and continue to fight like we told you. We allowed you to make $45 billion. Do your damn job. Go out there and fight for us. That's what I think that's going on, man. That's just my opinion. But this is him. I can't write it in stone, but, you know, hearing from reliable sources is a short time to cover. Let's see what happens. Doesn't make a difference to me. I also looked at the countdown clock. It's 166 days to the next election, the presidential election. And I think it was 23 weeks, so 23 weeks times two. It's another 40 days off. It's talking about 120 trading days until the election. 120 days. Pat Burns said, when Trump gets in, he's going to clean up maybe short selling. He's already said it twice. Pat Burns is tied to the pre President Trump. Twice he's already said it on the call. He will clean up the naked short selling. So we're looking at 120 days. I don't know about you. I've been 24 years. Another 120 days is not going to kill me. But make your bet. Figure out where you think you can make the most money from because it's going to be a life-changing event. Excuse me. Now let's talk about the CAT system. The CAT system's been in place. You can see all the, uh, the people in D.C. who have problems are getting paid by their uh, by their uh, donors to shut up and vote against this. Excuse me, vote against this. All right? And you say, well, says, I'm voting against the CAT system. We don't, you know, why protect us? She knows better. She's going to protect us. All right? So the more they do this stuff, the better it is for us. I don't care if they block it. It doesn't make a difference to me. All right? In stock settlement, let the crooks keep hiding. The more they try to hide, the more guilty they are. The more President Trump, the more Kennedy the more they can talk about it. Because everyone's going to scream if they block the cat system that the criminals are hiding. So it's only going to be a positive for us. Either way, it's a positive. So don't be down and out on it. You can yell all you want at these people. But again, make sure that you... Uh, hold on a second. Make sure you, uh, you understand what's going on. Either way, if you sit there and try to block the cat system, what's the reasoning? To protect us? They're not protecting us. They're trying to hide their fraud. That's what they're trying to do. They're trying to make it hard for them to get caught, which everybody can understand that they're only going to get busted later on. The presidential debate, Trump, Kennedy, forget the other idiot. These guys are going to bring it up because now they know retail is behind them. They want to hear these things. Devin Nunes, head of the Intel Committee, he says he knows how to handle investigations. Well, it's pretty easy. Just follow the sell tickets. The sell tickets the least of the money. Once you grab the guy with the money, just grab him in and ask him who's doing what. And all, as, as you can see in all the trials, Christians are putting up, they all start ratting on each other. Everything is about money. Just follow the money. It'll lead you to all the crooks. All right. So, again, we, we can't have the Q&A here because I'm not set up for that. But I just wanted to give you a heads up. I'll uh, just recap it for a second. In single motion, I'm hearing there's another short that tries to cover the company's earnings to come out on Tuesday, someone said. Be Tuesday or Wednesday, I forgot what they said. We got 166 days for the election. Take away the weekend. You're talking about 120 days. This will be exposed. Two out of the three presidential candidates are now against taking short selling. I've been doing this a long time. I've never seen anything like this before in my life. I haven't, I've been doing this for 24 years. So for the people that come in saying I'm, I'm fighting hard, I'm tired of doing it two years, three years, 
Get in line. I've been doing it 24. I'm sick of it also. I'm sick of watching guys like that. Fat Bastard, Hal Vince, Jeff Easton, Kramers, uh, Jeff, what's the, what's the other guy's name from Alpine, uh, John Curry, walking around having a party, the guy from Virtue, Ken Griffin, they're laughing at all of us. All right? I know how to defend myself. 99% of the people on the stall do not know how to, to defend themselves or trade the equity market. If you don't stand up and fight now, you're going to lose out the opportunity to protect your family, your kids, and your grandkids. You don't have to spend a penny, but I do suggest that you go on Twitter and retweet anything you like. South Korea is pissing on the SEC every day. Every day they piss on the SEC. They, every reporter wrote that the South Korea is going to end the short selling ban. Bang. No, we're not ending it. Complete opposite. The newspapers try to sway. They're trying to sway a country to stop talking about naked short selling because they're exposing the problem. And they're doing it right. They're protecting their people and their public companies. And our country is a disgrace for allowing this to go on. These guys have got rich beyond belief by doing this stuff. And Griffin should attack, like I told you, get carried out and disappear and say, I can't work anymore. Who gives a shit? This guy wants to press his $45 billion, you know, is uh, his, all that money he swiped and he wants to press the vest, take it away from him and throw him in jail. Bernie Madoff did it. The guy, Dan Bankman, Free, whatever his name is. These guys wanted to press it. They wanted to be the kids of the world. They're in jail now. One dead. The other one's in jail 25 years. It's not worth it. But again, Pick your stock. Your opportunity is going to be less and less each day. All right? I never touch these things can go at any second. I do not know when they're going to go. But you have to be in it to win it. Pick your poison because there's going to be a life-changing opportunity and whatever you pick. All right? You know most of the names. Find your own. Do what you have to do. When you do hit the buy button, it's on you. Don't tell it's on us. You pick it yourself. All right? This phone call is being recorded because I'm making a point here. When you hit the buy button, it's on you. I'm not calling you up. You called in to listen to this thing. When you pick a stock, it's on you. I can only tell you what I see and what I hear. You don't like it? This is Wall Street. This is how it works. I worked on the trading desk. We communicated with each other. The market makers are communicating with each other, even though they're not supposed to. They communicate by moving numbers on the level two. And that's how they tell you how they know, they know when they're going to, there's no buy orders around. They can manipulate the stock down. They communicate. We're trying to communicate so you don't get picked off, as we call it. You don't get, you don't get chicken, you don't chicken out. When there's a bear raid, that's what we talk about. Anyway, I just wanted to let you know, and I'll, I'll try to be on the call with him again for the marriage around three, three thirty, something like that. And look, South Korea said that if you got regulators, this is South Korea said, if you got regulators and they can't find no nigga showing, it's because, man, they not looking for it. They not trying to find it. But thank you for taking time out to watch the video. Have a nice day.